these hypersonic intercontinental ballistic missiles are a big part of Bible prophecy. Shalom. Kohaloyan Wahwala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Arakakwadash. Double honors, as always, are extended unto the venerable apostles along with the elder bishops who rule well. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Baath Shadawadada house of David, the elect. Beginning with his servants, the prophets, you Akim are out there preaching and teaching on the highways and hedges throughout the four corners of the earth. Singing a new song, waking up the lost sheep at the house of Yasharala, on down to all those among Yasharala who have believed our report. The men, women, and children, believers, they too are going to be delivered out of this coming destruction. And that's what's coming to Babylon, the great utter destruction. Right? As the scripture says, she's going to be made wholly desolate and be utterly burned with fire. Okay, as a result of these, again, of these hypersonic or intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now, last night, over there in the Ukraine, which is in the news today, which today is March the 9th, 2023, all right, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. Okay, uh, last night, on March 8th, okay, the Russians, all right, launched a wave of uh, missiles on the Ukraine, man, attacking their uh, energy infrastructure, okay, in, in uh, uh, for one, okay? And, you know, these Russians who was just, you know, the Russian, there's no such thing as a Russian. All right, those are Edomites over there in the land of Gog and Magog, okay? Um, but but these so-called Russians are, are, are uh, uh, leveling that whole country, man, the Ukraine, okay? Now, over here in the West, specifically over here in America, okay, Amalek's media, all right, is, is has convinced you uh, Babylonians Okay, Amalek being the chief tribe of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, Amalek, those fake Jews. All right, his media over here in America has convinced you that the Ukraine is standing up to Russia. So the government should continue sending billions and billions of dollars in aid. Here it is, America <laughs> is falling apart, it seems, literally. I mean, these trains are derailing like once a day now, you know, several times a day. You're reading about trains derailing you know specifically near bodies of water and that's being done by design okay so you know which is all which is all leading up to a horrific famine there's going to be you know the lord yahweh bashmi al-shah is going to call for a famine in this land and it's already here we're in the beginning stages of it but it's going to get you know awful now that's a, another topic for another video but again here it is your country's falling apart and your politicians who are just you know puppets for amulet are, are, have convinced you that the government should send billions of dollars to the Ukraine so they can, you know, which the Ukraine is run by a, a, a Nazi so-called Jews, man. Okay? It's, you know, it's crazy, man. And even you Jakes are on board with it. A lot of you Israelites, man, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, who are the Lord's chosen people, all right, along with the speckled birds, of Israelite foreigners. Okay? Y'all, y'all are on board with this shit, man. Okay, and so it's just crazy, man. But you know, again, the ICBMs play a, a part in Bible prophecy. The Lord is going to use these, all right, because these missiles at the end of the day belong to the Lord, man. All right, the Scripture says these are the weapons of His indignation. You know, the Bible likens them to uh, swords. Okay, John the Revelator described them as horsemen. And uh, what is that revelation the ninth chapter? Which you know you got Christians out here not believing in in uh in the nukes, man. Vocab don't believe in the nukes. You know, you, get, you even got Israelite teachers out here not believing that that nukes are gonna hit. They know that that think they don't exist, man. All right, but the Bible likens them to you know to, to swords, okay, uh um arrows, okay. Yeah, that's the, that's the ultimate sword of the Lord is, is, is are these missiles, man. Now, this is, I just typed in hypersonic, you know, hypersonic um weapon, all right? Go to Wiki. Hypersonic weapons are weapons capable of traveling at hypersonic speed, defined as between 5 and 25 times the speed of sound, okay, or about 1 to 5 miles per second, okay? Um... And you can go and read this. But this, um, 
there's a post on here all right from a Twitter user uh, Chuck B Farrar or however you say that last name Chuck Farrar Farrar <laughs> anyway um and he's and he, he says this hard to take out last night's missile barrage included Russian Kinzhal hypersonic air launch ballistic missiles Reaching an altitude of 600,000 feet, the Kinzhal can approach the target at speeds as great as Mach 12, making it almost impossible to intercept. And again, this lines up with Bible prophecy because when these arrows are shot from one end of the uh, earth unto the other, they're not going to miss their mark. It tells you that in the book of Second Esdras. So let's go ahead and, and, and get into that scripture real quick. No, first of all, let's read... Um, In Isaiah, where it talks about the, the these these are his man, okay? These are his weapons. Before I got a second, Ezra sixteen. All right, these are his man. These belong to the Lord. He howled by me outside, okay? Because the Lord is responsible for everything, man. Everything. The Lord controls everything. Now, yes, he he just how he uses his right hand. All right, beginning with Howard Shai, all right, the Messiah of of the nation of Israel, okay. Uh, and the angels and the elect, okay, he, he also works on the left-hand side through the spiritual demon Satan who has a race of people who, who have, Satan has a, a physical seed in the earth, man, the Edomites, all right, so that's how he works wickedness, all right, it's, it's through his left hand, all right, so at the end of the day, these are his weapons, man, these missiles, that Kinzhal missile, you know, that belongs to Yahweh Al-Bashim Shai. And he's got a purpose for it, man, to to, to fire that thing over here, okay, <laughs> to again destroy this whole land, to utterly to utterly burn it with fire. All right, anyway, this is Isaiah thirteen, chapter thirteen, and verse five, and it reads, "They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh, and the weapons of His indignation to destroy the whole land." That's right. So these hypersonic missiles. These are the weapons of his and nation. Now you go to, um, let's go to, these are all milk scriptures. Isaiah 54. Okay. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created a smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. Now in this modern time we're in now, you know, this is going into new, these nuclear scientists, man. Okay. It says, and that bring forth an instrument for his work, right? It says, and I have created the waster to destroy. So the Lord has created the waster to destroy, man. All right, now look at this promise to the elect, okay? In verse 17, because I want to read this, because this is, the, hey, the Lord has made promises to his elect, beginning with his men, the 144,000. All right, the kings and priests, the, the true, you know, uh, 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 judges in this earth, man, who will be reigning in the kingdom of heaven. Under Malak Dawadah, King David, who will sit on his throne, and underneath the uh, underneath the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is this is a promise. Okay, it says in verse seventeen, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. So these missiles aren't going to um, prosper against the Lord's elect, man. Okay, because the Lord's elect are going to be delivered through the flames, man. Through this fire is coming. All right, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? So, yeah, man, the Lord created these nuclear scientists, gave them the understanding, okay, to, to make these missiles, again, which the Bible likens unto swords, arrows, horsemen, even calls them flying swords in 2nd Ezra's 15th chapter. Okay? So, let's go to, um, let's go back to this, uh, Let's see if there's anything else on this uh, post. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay, he's just going into to, to the Kins all. All right, let's go to Second Ezra 16. I had that pulled up. Okay, and this is that final plague spoken of in Zechariah 14, chapter the 12th verse. Okay, that will do in, all right, this kingdom, man. That will do in Esau. Okay, that he, he I, and it's gonna happen quick, man. The scripture says in Revelation 18, chapter in one hour is that judgment come. Okay, let's get right to the point. 
in uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16 and verse 5, and it reads, Plagues are sent unto you, okay? And what is he that may drive them away? It may any man drive a, and hu away an hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn? Right, these are two rhetorical questions. All right, rhetorical questions meaning they, they, they are self-explanatory, okay? If you come across a hungry lion in the woods, you're not going to be able to drive him away. He's going to tear your ass up, man. You're going to be dinner. You're going to be what's for dinner. <laughs> All right. And yeah, you can't quench the fire and stubble when it has begun to burn. I was thinking about, you know, something the other day. I remember, you know, years ago being in the kitchen and I was uh, frying up uh, bacon, you know, and relax. It was turkey bacon. All right. And, uh, but I was frying up some turkey bacon and, uh, you know, it was, it was popping, the pan was popping and, uh, ended up catching a, 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 catching a paper towel on fire. Right. And, uh, that thing just went up, man. And that, you know, threw it down, stomp it out. But you know, once that fire gets going, you know, you, 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 you can't just stomp it out, man. Okay. So the prophets was constantly asking rhetorical questions, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I was shy. All right. He was constantly asking asking rhetorical questions, all right? Again, questions that have no need for an answer is obvious what the answer is. You can't <laughs> turn away a hungry lion in the wood if you come across one, and you can't quench the fire in stubble when it has begun to burn. Verse 7, may one turn, again, the arrow to the shot of a strong archer, all right? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Nobody, all right? Because at the end of the day, this is the determination or counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. He's determined to, to just bring Babylon down, all right, via nuclear destruction, man. Okay? It says, verse 9, A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who, sh and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Right. Hey, this is going to cause men to be afraid. Okay? And these elites, they are afraid. That's why they, that's why they going into their bunkers, man. Okay, because they know what's up, man. It's just two thirds of our people and unbelievers, the house of Saul, who don't know what's up. Okay, Jake's out here getting ready for spring break. Okay, you know, getting ready to, you know, he's getting ready to spend that tax refund check, getting ready to go out, have a good old time, you know, getting ready for uh, uh, the NCAA tournament, men's basketball, the Final Four, March Madness, all that folly, man. Okay, but well, this is striking fear into the hearts of these. Generals over here in Babylon, okay? Yeah, man. It talks about how uh, Babylon's mighty men are going to be afraid, man. All right? And we have a holy fear of reverence for Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because only he can deliver us out of this mess, man. Okay? It says, the verse 11, the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to power at his presence, right? Because he's coming back to beat Esau, Edom into powder, man. And also, you know, two thirds, again, of you Israelites are going to be uh, uh, destroyed, man. Okay. And have to uh, feel that fire, man. Which America is going to be turned into a lake of fire. And the scriptures talks about, you know, death and hell being tossed into the lake of fire, which totally, you know, uh, uh, um, which, which, which totally uh, uh, debunks that, that, that fable of an, of an underground hell. If death and hell are going to be tossed into the lake of fire, how is, how is hell underground? Anyway, a burning hell underground. Hell just means the grave, all right, or a condition that plays out on earth, okay? What, like slavery? Was not slavery hell for the Lord's people? Yes, okay? Anyway, again, another, another topic for another video. All right, um, keep going. The earth... Quaketh and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. All right, the Lord is going to demonstrate his power in the earth, man. Hey, and, and the nations are going to fear, man. The nations are going to, hey, Allah Shaja, all right, a terrible demon like power, man, just like when the uh, Lord flooded the earth. Okay. Yeah, man, this Lord is likened unto a terrible demon like power, Allah Shaja. Okay. Yeah, he's getting ready to flex his muscle, man. It says, for strong as his right hand at Ben of the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Okay, so he's shooting these arrows. 
Okay, he's going to put a spirit on these kings because he controls the heart or minds of these kings. All right, to launch these things. Okay, but he's doing this. It says his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. What kind of arrow you know can be shot into the ends of the world? This is not talking about the missiles. And see, look at this. Let's go back to this post. Does not that look like an arrow? It also looks like a sword. Okay, these are how the prophets describe these things, man. Through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Okay? Yeah, and, and these these weapons, all right, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this lesson, but, you know, I wanted to touch on this, man, because, again, this is a part of Bible prophecy. All right? And really, we're the only camp, or it's like a it, great millstone is the only camp, and us like-minded men are right, following the doctrine. We're, we're the only ones, you know, beginning with the elder apostles, of course, of great millstone on down. We're the only ones talking about this, man, the nuclear destruction. All right. We're the only ones telling you to flee to wrath is coming because that's what's coming. All right. Wrath. OK. The Lord, the Lord's indignation, man. His, his furious anger. OK. Um. Let's see something in Jeremiah. Let's see. These are part of his armory. Yeah, Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 25. The Lord Yahweh hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Again, same thing that was said in Isaiah the 13th chapter in the 5th verse. For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. This is talking about America, modern day Babylon the Great. Okay, the land of the Chaldeans. The, the modern day Chaldeans are these international banking families, man. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, they're all Freemasons. They're all warlocks, okay? they sorcerers, okay? And they deal directly with Satan, again, on the left-hand side, okay? So, yeah, these missiles are part of a big part of prophecy. Matter of fact, I'm going to go into uh, Revelation, the ninth chapter, just because I haven't brought that out lately. And again, you got Christians specifically like Vocab Malone who don't believe that this is what John the Revelator was talking about. You know, that when he was talking about the horsemen he saw. These are the nukes, man. Okay? These are the nukes. This is uh, Revelation chapter 9 and verse... Uh, um, where do I want to start? I was starting 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000,000. And I heard the number of them. All right, again, speaking of the missiles, it says, And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire, okay, and of jacinth and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Because when these things are shooting across the sky, when they go up out in, into the orbit, okay, what happens? Fire shoots out. From the bottom, okay, from one, okay. So, yeah, he, this, this is how, this is the language he's using at the time, okay, to describe the nuclear destruction that he saw coming to Babylon, man, okay. It says, verse 18, by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths, all right? The third part of man, all right, there's three classifications of men, right? You got the uh, the, the the children of uh, uh, of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. You got the children of men, and you got the children of the wicked, okay? So Esau, this is what's going to take him out, man, okay? Uh, verse 19, for their powers in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like the serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt, right? They, 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 these things are going to, put a hurting on this place again totally destroy it okay so this is what john the revelator is talking about he's talking about watching these things fly across you know for, for fly from one end of heaven to the other okay let me see if i can get a visual let's see let's well hell let's just go back here and get a video okay
Yeah, Iran's in the news lately. They got they got missiles. Let's see what this video. I just want to see because when these things are shot off, it's like you, when these things are shot off, let's see if they shoot them. Iran has announced the creation of a hypersonic ballistic missile capable of destroying moving marine vehicles and flying eight times faster than the speed of sound. According to the Iranian Fars News Agency, this was announced at an event in Tehran by the head of the general staff of the Iranian Armed Forces, General Mohammad Bakiri. The general noted that the missile tests were successful. Iran has become one of three countries with such... I don't think this is going to show us. Arsenal will allow creating a security of the Islamic Revolutionary there Guards goes. Corps, See, General right there. Amir Ali Hajizadeh announced that Iran had developed a new ballistic missile. Hypersonic weapons there are missile goes. weapons capable See? of flying in the atmosphere. Fire and brimstone issued out of their mouths. Greater than or equal to... Okay, hold on. Let's go back to that scripture. Let's get out of there. You can go and watch it. I mean, you get the point. Let me, let me go back to that scripture in Revelation... Chapter 9. Famous scripture, man. All right. Hey. John the Revelator seen these things, man. Let's, let's read this. In verse uh, 16. Or it's like in verse 18. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire, by the smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. I mean, when you think about it, that's a that's a, a perfect description, man. You know, let's see if I can find a better. Let's see if I can find a better visual. Flight. Hypersonic glide vehicles work differently. They exploit physics using drag and friction so they can fly in all directions like an aircraft. Uh, but it's super see. Let's do this. Let's do hypersonic missile launch. Let's check out Gog and Magog. All right, Russia. Russia launches sea based hypersonic missiles. See? There's that fire brimstone issuing out of their mouths. Okay? They're going to be shot from one end of heaven to the other, and they're not going to miss their mark. John the Revelator saw these things, man. Just like he saw millions and millions of sheeple being chipped up, man. Getting that MOTB, which is the C to the H to the I to the P. <laughs> All right. Anyway, you get the point. I just wanted to do a quick lesson on this. You know, hey, the missiles are a big part of Bible prophecy. All right. Again, it's what the Lord is going to use. To bring uh, Esau Edom out of out of power, man. To 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 uh to put it in to his rulership. All right. If you're one of the Lord's people, you need to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And with that, I want to say shalom.